Hey, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Last week we showed you what's inside a hydraulic cylinder. Today we're going to show you how to repair one with Hoot of SNH Farm Supply in Rogersville, Missouri. We found this hydraulic cylinder had a loose nut on the end of a rod, but we're going to go ahead and put a seal kit in it today. The video is kind of long, but if you want to know how all that works inside of there, watch the video. And if the tractor has got plenty of hours on it and you just find this loose, you'd probably be ahead just go ahead and put a packing kit in it since you're this far into it. But really the only thing that is wrong with it is that piston is loose on the rod letting the oil seep by. Okay. So we'll take this rod apart. Now one, one thing to tell people there, and this is, this is common sense, but you don't ever put this part in the vise. No, because if you put a scar on this rod, what it will do is eat the internal seal, and then you'll have an external leak, and plus the rod is it's done. damaged. Yep. This here wide piece right here, this piece right here they call a bearing. This slides on the inside bore of the cylinder to keep the rest of the piston from wearing on the cylinder okay. from damaging it. They call this here a backup ring, and then most of them always have two of them. And then they have the actual seal that rides on the cylinder wall of the cylinder. And all cylinders will have a nut that holds the piston onto the rod. And some cylinders have a seal, an O-ring that goes in here to help keep the oil from sliding past and underneath this piston and to seal it off and you can see why this in here was leaking because it was loose on the rod. And some of the seals just have a one lip seal and some of them have a two lip seal on the piston. And you always have a, usually an O-ring that seals off the gland and then also another backup ring behind it. And then you have the main seal that rides on the rod down inside there. And you take an O-ring pick and take it out. And it's always just a one lip seal. And always put the lip of the seal towards the pressure of the oil. A guy, a guy that doesn't know and has never done this, has really no business doing this because they'll put it back together and it'll leak. Yep, there's a good chance of it. And this seal right here, all it is is a wiper to keep the dirt and the water out of the inside of the gland here to keep it from wearing out the gland and the rod boat. Okay. On the gland, you can put it in the vise and then take a special chisel and run it underneath of it. and just flip it out of there. And then you want to make sure that the inside has not got a lot of rust or nothing like that in there because rust will make the seal stand out away from the surface and it could still possibly leak. If your gland does have some rust on it, you can take a polisher and polish it up or even just a piece of sandpaper or emery clay. You can see how it cleans it up. So that's all you have to do. If you have any of those in the wrong order, you're, you're in bad shape. Yeah. <laughs> you can just take a hammer and tap the wiper seal in there. And on the seal that goes against the rod, they have a special tool to help you put this in there because without this tool, it's almost impossible to get it in there because you can make this smaller than the bore and then just slip it in the groove and then pull it out and you can see that it just popped right back in there. 
And on the outside seals on this gland, they have this backup washer, and there's a groove for that O-ring to set against. And you want to put it away from the oil and the O-ring towards the oil because that's what seals is the O-ring. Once you get it in the groove, just take your pick and move it to the back of the groove. And then the O-ring will just slide right in there where it's supposed to go. Just like that. So we're done with that. No, no, we're not done with it. There's a wiper on the inside of this one too. It's a bearing like was on the piston. That rides on the rod, so the rod doesn't wear on your gland. And all you got to do is just squeeze it together and slip it in there, and then it'll pop right back out into place. And then here's the new bearing for the piston. It just goes like that. And then you put the new seal on because these uh, spacers, they ride on the side of the seal to hold it in place. So you put your seal on first. And then just twist your spacer in on the both sides of the seal. And we're ready to put it all back on the rod. And then you can just take gun grease and wipe on the inside where that seal is at. That's so when you slide it on the rod, you'll be less likely to uh, tear a seal or anything like that. You see, it'll just slide right on there. And the bearing usually goes towards the end of the rod, so just so you'll know. And I always take Loctite and put on the threads just so that nut won't back off like it did the first time. How many pounds of torque was that? That's probably 120 pounds of torque. Give or take? Yep. And if the packing is bad, tore up pretty bad on this, you always want to take a flashlight and look down inside your barrel because if your barrel is ate up or scarred up, it won't do you no good to repack it because when you go to using it, the scores on the inside of the barrel will just be repacking and then you're right back where you started from. And it's best to take grease and take and wipe on the inside of your barrel right here, and especially in them threads. That way when the seal goes across it, you'll be less likely to uh, cut the seals. Mm -hmm. I'll finish tightening that gland up once I have it on the tractor because I don't want to stem the cylinder in the vise and score it all up. Okay. Right there is why you keep your uh, pins greased. Yes. How, how, did, how did I do? Mike did pretty well. <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> I took uh, pins out with the torch because people never grease them. Yeah. Grease is the life of anything that moves. Now while you're finishing up there, Hoot, that cylinder has no oil in it. No. Nope. And it has air in it. So what's what happens when we start it up and we try to work our cylinder? It may take it a while for it to move back, but it will bleed the air out of the system by itself. You don't have to leave a line cracked or nothing like that. Just put them on and tighten them up, and then cycle your bucket a few times and It'll purge the air out by itself. Okay. 
We just want to start it up and see if we got any external leaks and then uh, we'll take and put some pressure on the bucket and see if it will roll back and that should tell us if that piston being loose was the problem or not. Time will tell now if that piston being loose was the problem. If it rolls back by itself, um, then we could have a po possible problem inside the control valve, but I've had very few bad control valves. It's always in the cylinder when a cylinder bucket leaks off or the loader leaks down or something like that. Hey, I survive on web traffic. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. And hey, if you've got comments or questions, put them below. I'll try to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching.